Hello there everyone, it's uh, me again and you know in terms of these second art pieces if you don't want to do it in uh, paint you're welcome to do it in pencil. A student sent me yesterday a magnificent drawing and I just knew once it gets painted it's going to spoil it for some reason. It was so brilliant and I said that's it, you know, just stop there because a lot of art is knowing when it should be stopped because sometimes you never know when to stop. And uh, the college has asked me to do another drawing of, uh, you know the college is named Hosto, Ostos and you know, and uh, they're wanting, uh, an, you know, it's named after a man, Eugenio Maria de Ostos, who in the 19th century, and I think, I don't know how far he went into the 20th century, but he was a big social reformer in South America. He was born in Puerto Rico and he died in the Dominican Republic. And he was far ahead of his time. I mean, he was supporting rights for everyone, minorities, women, uh, even Chinese laborers who were used like slaves and building railroads and in South America, he supported them. So he was like for everybody. So he's, I, to me, he's a really great guy. You know, I mean, he's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad the college is named after him rather than just a name that's just like Bronx College or something like that. You know, it's nice to have somebody good. So, you know, there are, because he's from so far back in time, there are not many, if any at all, photographs, because I don't think they had many cameras in those days. So, you know, I just kind of make up things. Now you'll see here, I'm using, for this, I'm going to use these uh, Pentel pens. They're brush pens, they're Japanese, and I bought two of them. They're about $5 or $6 each on Amazon. And uh, they're pretty cool, you know, I mean, you don't need to keep dipping it into the ink. They're not that expensive. If you want to get one and you're not sure what it is, just email me and I'll send you the link to Amazon. And they're not expensive. I mean, they're like five or six dollars. So you can get one. Now, um, Eugenio Maria de Ostos, he's got one of those, you know, those big old guy beards that they used to have back in the old days. You know, those... <laughs> I guess it's just hipsters that wear these beards now in uh, Williamsburg and those kind of places where they all hang out in coffee shops. But you know, this was the old beard back in the 19th, 19th century. Look at that. It's going all over the place. Bam, 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 bam. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's kind of like God's beard <laughs> you know, when you see paintings of God, drawings of God. Anyway, there, he's got some hair. So I, basically, I'm just working out the idea for this thing. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it nice for them. Holy bully! That's books. I, I made the studio neat last night, but I set all the books up in a pile, and they've just decided to take a jump. So let's see what this thinner one is like. Yeah, it's nice. I'll give him a bit of an ear. So, you know, that's, I mean, you know, I'm just roughing it in here. I'll make the painting later for them. But I'm just giving myself a feeling for what's going to come out from this guy. I think he always wore one of those, um, what do you call them? A kind of bow tie cravat thing, you know, back in the days. Put one here. Look how this works. This is a really good thing. This, I mean, uh, you know, if you're into art, and I know some of you are, I know some of you, this is just like a joke, but uh, those students, and you know who you are, who are really great, and I tell you that, you know, you can, you can start to really get into this stuff and do it, you know, it's, uh, you know, it helps me a lot in my life, and, uh, you know, I suffer and go through everything that everybody goes through, but, you know, art is always there, and, you know, even if I ended up kind of like marooned on a desert island, you know, I'd take a piece of stick and start drawing on the sand. You know, I don't know what I'd do, but, you know, I'd make some sort of frickin' art to keep myself going while I was there.
<laughs> like Castaway. Remember Wilson? If you haven't seen it, it's a film with Tom Hanks and he ends up uh, a ball, a Wilson basketball rolls up onto the shore of the desert island and he paints a face on it with his blood. You know, I don't know, he's, he's bleeding from something and he puts a face on it and then he talks to that uh, ball and he puts like twigs for hair and that ball was sold last week in auction. $300,000. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> you could buy an apartment with that. Wilson. So anyway, I'm just sketching this out. This is the uh, two pencil pens. They're cool. And if you're wanting just to do a giant drawing. And you know, the, th the other thing I was saying to you is knowing when to stop. Let me take this one away. So that's... Um, just quickly done while I've been talking to you in the last, uh, what are we doing, four or five minutes. So I've been doing this thing as well. I told you all about this. Let me see it. It's uh, what's called silver points. So these things, this I don't expect any of you to be actually starting to do because it's tricky. but. It's interesting to know about it. This is what they used before pencils were invented. Pieces of metal in a stylus like that. And this piece of metal is silver. Now it sounds expensive, but actually it's dead cheap. You know, it cost about 75 cents or a dollar for the piece of silver. And I put watercolor on a piece of paper and then you can draw on top of the watercolor. So I've been doing these two it's in a railway station. I don't know if you can see the idea. This guy's coming out the railway station and he looks kind of like, what the heck am I doing here? And this is the kind of <laughs> weird old station agent. And I got some stuff here like the, uh, this, this side. I didn't put any train or anything, but I've been using the silver to draw it like pencil, but it gives a nice kind of soft technique and I'll move the camera closer so you can see it. And, uh, you know, here it is, you know, and you can see, look, it actually draws on the paper. You paint the whole paper with watercolor paint, white. It's called Chinese white. And then you can draw on it with the silver. It's a cool technique. It's really only for you guys who are going to be going on to do art if you want to learn about it. It's called Silver Point and uh, it's something I use quite often. A lot of people never will use this in their lives because it's more tricky than pencil drawing. But you can see here that, you can see it right there. You can see I've been going into it quite closely in the faces, you can see all that. And this is set in the old railway station from my hometown, which is in the Highlands of Scotland. It's a little town a way up, way up north, and it's called Wick. And this is Wick Railway Station. And uh, this is this guy coming out there thinking, what the heck am I doing here? <laughs> so that's that little drawing. And, uh, you know, and the, the thing I was going to show you about this is the question, when are you finished, you know? Because sometimes you need somebody to say to you, that's time to stop. Me, I keep going on and on and on, maybe sometimes too much. You know, I'm wanting to get these kind of age spots on this guy's, you know, it's gone brainer and things like that. So I just keep going on and on at it. And eventually, you know, I just get exhausted really. And then that's it. So, you know, those are questions that you have to ask. When do you stop? How do you do it? What's, what's going on with it? All those questions. So. That's it for this little inspirational talk, 10 minutes. And uh, you know, if you're not gonna be doing a painting for your second painting, if you're gonna be doing a drawing, these are finished drawings. Uh, finished drawings are not just studies for a final piece. This drawing is a study for a final painting. This is not, I mean, you could frame it, but this is not a finished drawing, it's just a study. Whereas this is definitely a finished drawing, you know, it's not a study, it's been worked up very long for a few weeks actually. So that's how they define the difference. And the, for interesting information at the end, 
a lot of you do are interested in anime and cartoons. The word cartoon comes from these drawings that people did at the beginning. You know, they just wanted to make a preparatory study and the cartoon was regardless, regardless as worthless. So Michelangelo and Leonardo, the great old masters, the cartoons would be just lying on the floor and they were called cartoons, you know, four or five hundred years ago. That was the name they gave them, cartoons. And that's where the word cartoon comes from now. Cartoon comics, cartoon um, animation, cartoon. It's the original uh, work that was done so the artist could work out his, idea, his or her, or the, they, as the idea before the uh, painting was actually started on the, whatever they were going to be using, walls sometimes, canvases. So it was a cartoon preparatory study. Okay, so that's a little talk about um, ideas for those of you who are not going to use paint, who want to produce a second piece of artwork and uh, make it maybe just graphic. Okay, that's cool. Anything goes. You're free. All I want is an individual work that's unique for each person. Only you could have done it. Something's personal for you. Okay, bye for now. Bye.